Hi, my name is Alistair Chapman, and in this video I'm going to take a look at the RAW options for the Sony PXW FX9 that will be included in firmware version 2. This will be a major upgrade for this camera, and it will introduce the ability to output 16-bit RAW via the XDCA FX9 extension unit. First though, I want to look at what RAW is and why a 16-bit RAW output at this price point is very exciting. Large sensor cameras such as the FX9 use a single sensor. That sensor is made up of an array of pixels that measure light levels. Above each pixel, there is either a red, green or blue color filter. And these filters are typically arranged in a pattern called a Bayer pattern. The pixels themselves don't know what color the light that falls on them is. They just record an intensity or brightness value. These values are then output from the sensor as a single frame that only contains brightness information. And this is the raw sensor output. For conventional recordings, this raw brightness information is converted to a color image by the camera's internal processor. And as part of that conversion process, things such as white balance, gain, gamma, and many other factors that determine the final look of the image are baked into this now color picture before it's recorded. When you shoot RAW, the brightness information of each pixel, direct from the sensor, is what you record. This then allows you to do all of the image processing to turn that data into a color image in post-production. This gives you greater flexibility to adjust things like the colors, contrast, and all those other things that determine the final look of the image. This is the main benefit of RAW, greater post-production flexibility. But because you'll now be doing a lot of that critical image processing after the image has been recorded, if you want a really good end result, then the quality of that data needs to be as high as possible. And this is why a 16-bit output is so important. For most digital cinema applications, 16-bit linear or 12-bit log are the preferred RAW formats. The FX9's 16-bit RAW offers the ability to output incredibly nuanced, full-fat images not possible with many light RAW formats. Another RAW benefit is that because the output from the camera is just a single set of brightness values, rather than the three sets of values needed for a component YCBCR image, the amount of data that needs to be recorded is reduced. This allows you to either use less compression for higher quality, or output at a higher frame rate while still maintaining manageable file sizes. In version 2, the FX9 will output a downsampled 4K DCI RAW stream at up to 30 frames per second from the camera's full frame 6K scan mode. 4K DCI RAW can also be output at 50 and 60 frames per second using either the new full frame crop 5K scan mode or the Super 35 scan mode. As well as 4K DCI, you'll also be able to record 2K DCI at up to 180 frames per second by using the camera's full frame 2K scan or Super 35 2K scan modes. It should be noted, however, that the reduced resolution of the 2K scan modes does mean that the image quality won't be as high as is possible with the other scan modes. Atomos will be introducing a firmware update for their Shogun 7 recorder that will allow it to record the RAW output from the FX9 to conventional low-cost SSDs. In order to use this existing recorder and off-the-shelf SSDs, the Shogun 7 will take the 16-bit linear RAW output from the FX9 and convert it to 12-bit log RAW. The Atomos 12-bit encoding algorithm is a visually lossless process that fully utilizes all of the camera's original 16-bit RAW data, while reducing that data to a more manageable level. Certainly in my testing, the image quality I'm getting is superb. 12-bit log RAW provides a very reasonable balance between image quality and the amount of data that needs to be recorded. In order to enable the RAW output from the FX9, the camera must be in the Cine EI mode, and then you should choose one of the RAW recording codec options. The quickest way to do this with the version 2 firmware is via the status pages. Simply press the status button on the side of the camera to bring up the status pages, and then use either the touchscreen or multifunction dial to select either just a RAW output, 
or a raw plus codec option that best fits your needs from the codec menu. A good starting point would be to choose RAW plus XAVCI. Once the RAW output has been enabled from the camera, you need to ensure that the Atomos Shogun 7 is set up correctly. Make sure the SDI cable is connected between the RAW output on the XDCA FX9 and the IN1 SDI on the Shogun 7. Then on the Shogun, set the input source to SDI and the record trigger to Sony. The Shogun 7 records the RAW using ProRes RAW. You can choose between ProRes RAW HQ or regular ProRes RAW. Both offer excellent image quality. For most applications, you should use ProRes RAW HQ to get the very best results. But if you are short of storage, the standard ProRes RAW can be used to save on a bit of storage space. When monitoring with the Shogun 7, I recommend setting the monitoring setting to PQ as this allows you to take advantage of the Shogun's HDR display, allowing you to see the full dynamic range of what you're recording. As an alternative, you may wish to load your own preferred LUTs into the Shogun 7 so that you can preview an approximation of how your footage will look after grading. Now you're ready to start shooting extremely high quality RAW. White balance should be set as you would do normally, and you should expose as you would when shooting with S-Log3. When the monitor option is set to native or to PQ, the Shogun 7's waveform display can be used to show your recording range. If you're using a LUT in the Shogun 7, the waveform shows the level of the signal after the application of the LUT. As with any other camera, you should always avoid underexposure. With RAW, a slightly brighter exposure is preferable to a dark exposure, as this will ensure you have a low noise image for the greatest post-production flexibility. Shooting ProRes RAW with the FX9 and Shogun 7 is very easy, and the image quality achievable with this combination of camera and recorder is exceptionally high. Mm -hmm.